Hello, everybody. Welcome to Journey Hotline, a series of interviews conducted by the Gabba Club of University of Colombo, where great minds think out loud. We will be getting a glimpse of how inspiring people have conquered their goals one step at a time. I'm Tishani Valigamage, and today we are going to be in conversation with a multi-talented and passionate person who has taken the world of media by storm with his sophisticated and stylish personality. He is no stranger to us, having graced our television screens as a captivating news anchor. So without further ado, let me introduce you to Joel Outskoon. Hi, Joel, how are you doing? Hey, how are you? Good to be with all of you today. And uh, thank you very much for having me. I'm doing really good, getting used to the new normal. And uh, things are going good. Can't complain. Hope That's so great to hear, Joel. Well. Yes, indeed. And we are extremely glad to have you on board as well. And we are definitely looking forward to such an exciting and an interesting conversation. Likewise. All right, so today we have a set of interesting and very exciting questions lined up for you. So let's get started. So I really want to ask you this. What motivates you to do what you do? And where do you find the motivation and inspiration needed? I'm sure most of the beginners out there would love to know about what keeps Joel Outskoon going on his journey. So what are your thoughts? Well, that's actually a very nice question and a very well worded question. So it's strange for me in the first off, I would say that uh, usually I'm the person asking questions from the rest of the people, but today it's nice to be interviewed and it feels very special as well. Uh, so uh, to answer your question, what actually motivates uh, Joel Outspoon? Uh, well, I think it's the mere passion. It is the uh, love which I have towards what I love to do. So each day, even when I wake up, like it's not like a random eight to five job. Uh, what happens here is, uh, let's say, even if I have to wake up at three o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock to midnight, to whatever it is, it, I'm driven to it because I love what I do. Uh, so I feel like uh, it is the passion. And of course, uh, it is the lifestyle which I'm used to right now. And uh, so I think all of that just drives me and keeps me going. And I feel very I feel great once I end up a show, uh, when you especially hear the feedback from the people, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, I think I like take everything in a, in a high spirit. And I feel that is, that is what motivates me every day, especially for, for me to even be featured in some, such an interview today with the, all of you young, energetic people. I think it is because I have been able to give out something or give out a message or inspire someone in whatever way. So I feel, I, I feel really great. Uh, because I, I uh, end of the day, I'm doing something that I love to do. So that is that is what motivates me each and every day. This time. Thank you so much. I think those are some great insights for the beginners out there because passion is a crucial element for whatever you wish to do. Passion should be there if you want to accomplish that right. All right. So, Joel, what do you think is the biggest challenge many youngsters face when it comes to public speaking, moderating and announcing? Uh, I'll start off by uh, showing you a little bit of an example. I think you must know this. People watching must be knowing this. Students must be knowing this. If you take a look at uh, my hand, uh, there are, of course, five fingers, right? But you can see, Tashani, each and every finger here it comes in a different level, right? Exactly. This is different yeah. to this. My left hand is different to my right hand. And what happens here is that uh, presenting or public speaking or anchoring or anything of that sort, TV or radio is not for everyone. Because I can't do a job of a pilot. I can't do a job of a doctor. They're specified for it, right? They're qualified for it. They have, they have something within them that they can generate uh, some great uh, minds put together. They can create something new. They can fly around the world. Or they can even heal someone. But not everyone can do everyone's job. What I feel is that you should not, you should not, uh, when you stress about the term youngsters, Tishani, uh, most of the youngsters try to be someone else. They, they don't try to be unique. Yeah, they don't try to be unique. We we have role models. We have idols. We are stuck on reality shows. We are stuck on Netflix sessions. And we try to be someone else. It's very unreal, right? It's very unrealistic. One good 
and great advice what i would like to give each and every one out there is be unique by that uniqueness you will be identified in society now i think prashani uh, you have been selected for this role uh, amidst uh, so many because you're good in what you do they, they have identified you they think that you're the best to do the interview so there you go so people have been identified there are a few others behind the scenes who are working for that specified role even during this interview so they have been identified for that role so what i feel is be unique and be uh, get that understanding that it is not for everyone a lot of people ask me a lot of youngsters approach me and ask i i would like to know i uh, i would like to be a news anchor i would like to be a tv presenter uh, for me it was luck by chance i don't know how it happened i never wanted to be on tv it was not even in my wildest dreams i never wanted to be on tv i never knew what news reading was news anchoring was all strange film like each and every one i had a dream of just becoming a pilot or becoming i don't know like a person related to marketing but then parts came my way and then somehow i found out that i have the capability of working on something like this and that's how it came across so the advice would be be unique and identify your strengths and weaknesses and public speakers motivational speakers or people who would like to mc announce compare whatever you call it uh, you should realize that uh, you can get there one day don't give up if you are aspiring to be a news anchor if you have that dream please go towards it don't give up identify your weakness identify your strengths and capitalize on your strengths and then one day you will be able to achieve your dream or goal so that's a little bit of advice exactly so it's really important that we try to establish our own identity without imitating anyone try to bring in your own uniqueness to what you would what you would like to pursue so then you will be able to be unique and have your own brand identity just like joel has it today so we had indeed we have so much of things to learn from you and i hope that uh, the beginners and everyone who's tuning in today will be able to you know get those takeaways from this amazing episode all right so uh, just uh, with along with that joel i would also like to ask now when it comes to um, you know specifically when it comes to public speaking to say now you have so much of experience in this um industry and in in this field so what would be your you know specific um specific uh, i would say tips to those who sort of have maybe a stage fright and those who are afraid to go out there onto the stage and start speaking so how should they be voicing out and what would be your specific tips to those who really need to get there and be a uh, good public speakers okay to all aspiring public speakers who have these uh, things which even i do have stage fright uh, you're nervous before an event you're nervous to see how it would go well these are all human it's human nature if you don't have stage fright if you don't have a fear within you if you don't have excitement before an event that means you have lost it right for me each and every day even before i go on stage even before i hold the mic even before i speak to an audience or read the news there's a lot of tension there's a lot of pressure there's a lot of excitement and there's a lot of uh, you know fear also like whether things would work out but what i want to say is when you go on stage when you hold the mic feel that you own the place right you feel that you take control of it and uh, just think that you're speaking in front of a mirror and uh, just be unique again i would like to touch the term be unique because if you try to be me if i try to be you no one would recognize you right so that uniqueness has to be capitalized and if you want to be that aspiring next person who wants to be known in the industry practice also because you need to practice otherwise it's hard to go in the game right you need to keep up with the trends and if you have a talent you be you social media you social media because it is a really powerful tool people might laugh at tiktok people might laugh at instagram facebook let the critics be but if you feel like you have that talent show it out on social media show that you can you you know uh, record something of yourself or you know put a small video and do do a tiktok with like you know my lesson today do something do something crazy do something out of the box who knows maybe you might get a business opportunity maybe you might get to collaborate with someone a brand or something of that sort so maybe you might be the next big figure so make use of the resources first you have without trying to find out an opportunity in the external world that's what i all right that's 
Exactly. Thank you so much, Joel. Uh, so indeed, if you want to, uh, you you know, if you want to have establish yourself as a public speaker or a moderator or an announcer, well, it's really important to get started first by you know some some way. All right. So next up, uh, we are going to move on to another very interesting segment of the episode that we have today. So to ease the atmosphere, we have a game round arranged. It's called Think Fast. Wow. Okay. We're going to play a game now. Let's do this. <laughs> yes. So this game is about a matter of seconds. I'll be directing you with a question after question with just a second and a half in between. So truth be told, those questions will be nonsensical questions. That means most of them won't have any particular meaning. So the answers you give don't have to match the question asked and they don't have to be right either. You can say anything. Just go with whatever that comes into your mind uh, when the question is dropped. Um, but make sure that you, um, you know, give the answer very quickly. So that's the whole point of this game. So I guess that you yeah. understood the ground rules. This game is all now about, I, you know, evoking humor. Yeah. Are you ready for this? Now I, under, now I understand the pressure I give my guests when they come on my show. So I can imagine <laughs> I'm going through something like that right now. Let's do this. <laughs> yes, let's do this. So until Joel preps up, just a kind reminder to all those who are watching, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button, please do to be updated with the, uh, with the upcoming videos of the Gaiva Club of the University of Colombo. Don't forget to like and share as well. All right. That's so right. I can... Subscribe, like, and share the Gavel Club. Uh, yes. <laughs> Do subscribe, like, and share. Yeah. All right. So, with that excitement, holding that excitement, let's go on to the game that we have on our list. So, um, I hope that you got the rules, Joel. Shall we start? So, I have one and a half minutes to think. Oh. One and a half seconds <laughs> to be precise. <laughs> yes, it's going to be very quick. <laughs> So okay. you just have to answer right. very quick. Yeah, let's okay. do one now. Wow. Okay. All right. So we'll be starting. And three, two, one, go. What do you want for your next birthday? I want a Mac. I Who invented laptop. jam? Who invented I jam? I don't know. What was Who? a great? <laughs> what was your great grandmother's first word? Baba. If the roses are red, why are the violets blue? <laughs> because that's how nature is. Why is it that round pizzas come in square boxes? Because there's a technical term towards it. I don't know what it is. What are birds made out of? Wings, yeah. <laughs> why is the sun so hot? Because it is because we are we need hot. We need hot air. I don't know. <laughs> Tell me a secret. I can't tell you my secret. Who drank all the coffee? Told. Me this morning. Why are you so great? Because I look for the greater things. What's the worst thing you can put in tea? Sugar. <laughs> Which sport do you think they'll invent, invent next? How to get away from Corona. <laughs> what rhymes with paper? Sister, why are flies so small? Because we can't kill them. How do you spell unconventional backwards? I'm very bad in my spelling. <laughs> Make up a name for a new song. Hula hula. What's the capital of Saturn? Uranus. What's the combination of a bear and an elephant called? Polar bear. <laughs> That was so much fun. <laughs> that was so much fun. People are, going to, people are going to be like, come on, well, seriously, what went wrong there? But it's okay. I don't know what I even said. Yeah, that's I the whole point of I the said. game, though. <laughs> I mean, these questions are completely random and nonsensical, but yeah, you were pretty fast and you gave, you know, all the, you answered them very quickly. So, yes, it Who was such a fun them? game. Who invented no. Jam? I don't... <laughs> Mr. Jam, maybe? I'm not too sure. That's <laughs> just a random question. Why pizza round? I don't know. Maybe because you can share it? 
I don't know. <laughs> yeah, good point. Good question. I loved it. I should yeah, so incorporate well, this game next time. I like the game. You should tell me how you have to play this game next time. Thank you, and I'm sure when our audience watches this, they are also going to. We are also going to stimulate their minds with these questions as well. I'm sure they will also go looking for the answers. Right. Oh, yeah. So that was the first game that we had today. And of course, we have some more games coming up as well. But before we go into another game, let's uh, you know go to the next question that we have. All right. So after going through such a uh, you know a uh, fun and interesting game, uh, so this question, uh, what I'm going to ask you is: So do you remember a specific experience where you wish that you had done something differently on stage? And if you were to do it over, what would you change? Mm. Uh, that's a good question. Can I can I make it like uh, not uh, okay, not a particular situation, but the yeah, sure. I think each and every time I get on stage, we'll say if it's a reality show, hosting, presenting a show of that nature. Uh, what I okay, I'll just take an instance, right? One instance. Uh, so I I hosted this uh, sports reality show, and uh, when I was hosting that, what happened was uh, we the naked. The person who was awarding the next uh, recipient or the next sportsman or woman wasn't wasn't told right beforehand. So we got the names only only just like that, right? Okay. So some okay. at a point, some uh, there was this particular sponsor who sponsor where they used their brand man, their head of their business to come and give the award, right? I only heard the sponsor's name, right? So what I did was. So when the single of uh, announcer was also reading the name, he read the title, and I said, "In order to present the award, I would like to invite on stage." Oh my God! The representative who is main, who is our main sponsor for the event. So I haven't even got an idea about who the sponsor is, right? Right? <laughs> I see. And I was like, "Oh my God!" So what I think I would have done better is if. If I was very strict with the organizer and said, "Look, here we need the number, we need the person, we need the person who is presenting," I think that would have been a better thing. Because after that, I got there was a complaint also saying that uh, you know they didn't know our name and all that. So end of the day, no matter what mistake the organizing committee or the team does, the end of the day blame comes to the person who is comparing or the person who is announcing. So I feel like if I was more pre- like if I was ready with such a situation, I would have definitely. Exactly. Yes, and also being a compere or a speaker or an MC is such a responsibility. And of course, yeah. I'm sure that you have so much of, you know, maybe fun experiences and also some, you know, some kind of scary experiences as well. But uh, thank God, really- thank God, it doesn't, thank God, it doesn't go to the extent of me mixing up uh, in a pageant or something. The first one I drop and the thing that doesn't. So far, it doesn't. Happen. <laughs> Yes, that's a fun one. That's a fun one. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yes. So I think uh, to all the beginners uh, out there who would like to pursue a career in this path, I'm sure if you get into this career, it won't be just you know responsibilities. It won't be just you know the profession of comparing or moderating. It will be a whole lot of fun and a whole lot of diverse experiences with a lot of pe- different people and a lot of different events. So it's definitely going to be such a delightful experience, just as it is for Joel. All right, so Joel, um, I hope that I'm doing you justice when I say that you are one of the most successful public speakers out there. So, how did you set yourself apart from others who wanted the same job? What are your thoughts? Wow! First of all, again, you said a really nice thing about me. I feel so flattered today, and thank you very much for those. I I feel really great. These are like things which I I love to hear on a daily basis, but. Feel so rewarded and blessed. Thank you very much. Um, Why is it the truth? How, <laughs> so, how do I set aside myself or be different from the rest? Well, I think everyone is uh, when you when you when you when you come into that uh, stage of uh, you know once people get to recognize you and uh, uh, I'll be I'll be really honest here, right? Uh, once you get this to be your profession out there in the market, it is definitely a rat race i will tell you that because everyone out there in my field is fighting for a share whether we like it or not whether we like it or not it might be it might be not the truth it might be something wrong 
right? Uh, but everyone out there is running for a share in the market, right? Be it an event, be it a wedding, be it a voicing gig or something. So what I feel is I uh, I don't want to, like most of us in the industry also don't want to run this backlist because what I feel is the client end of the day or the event manager has recognized you for your strength and weakness, right? Sometimes there are people identified now, I like to be uh, go. I like to be actually called in the field of a wedding MC also because I feel that is something which I like to do. I see two people getting together. It's a happy day, and I love to do such things. Then there are certain other people who are very well good for like political programs. So people have identified those kind of people for political programs. Then there are some other people who would do like uh, you know hardcore interviews for like hard talk interviews. Then there are another set of people who have been identified to do like uh, game shows, reality shows, or you name it. There are there are a set of people. So what I feel is I like to be called this versatile people because I I would do anything and everything. If it if I love to do it, I would do it because I think I can be uh, smiling with you right now. In the next moment, I can even be sad and announcing something very sad. So I think if is I'm not I'm not competing with anyone. I think no one competes with each other. But uh, something that set aside is versatile. Like I can, I can engage and do anything and everything. I think I said it right. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. So. Exactly. You're definitely a multi potentialite, and also when it comes to setting yourself, you know, st- making yourself stand out from others, I think it's really important to uh, exactly understand what you're good at and then pursue that, and also create your own brand identity and work towards the work for that every day. So that is really important, just as Joel said. So um, next we have another game planned, and that is called Would You Rather? You rather okay would i rather let's see yes so in this game i will ask you questions starting with would you rather the questions include two things and you have to choose um one out of them so shall we start let's start let's do this yes so let's get started okay so would you rather go into the past and meet your ancestors or go into the future and meet your great great grandchildren i would go to the future and meet my great 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 you know because i think the past is done past is buried i don't want to see the past i would like to see the future generation how they would look and how how don't know whether they will also be public speakers who knows <laughs> so like yes that's that going to be interesting <laughs> i'm sure <laughs> Ancestors are gone. They're past. They're buried. They're done. Let's see the future. Yes. <laughs> Let's be far-sighted, forward-looking, and optimistic. Be optimistic and go into the future. Yeah, that's right. And next up, would you rather always speak everything in your mind or never speak again? I prefer not to speak again. If I go to Come speak on. everything in my mind, yeah, if I speak everything <laughs> in my mind, I don't think we can exist in this planet. <laughs> might as well yeah. not speak at all that's true but if you never speak again we would really you know we would really miss the, the this amazing personality who always used to be on the tv screen <laughs> and you know we'll be re- missing joy no, 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 I, 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 i'll slowly I, i'll slowly slowly use another person's profile and put something on instagram with my <laughs> voice only <laughs> yeah no, that's fine you can do that all right next up would you rather have a rewind button or a post button in your life Ah, there are. It depends on the situation. There are certain moments in my life I would really like to rewind and go and live in that past memory. But mm-hmm. certain moments, you know, say like uh, there has been ups and downs in everyone's life, right? So yes. for me, when I foresee yeah. that, when I foresee that oh, this is happening, if I can pause there and just hold it there and keep that memory and not not go beyond that, I would love both buttons in my life. Yes. Yeah. So, which means that you need both the buttons in your life to be precise yeah. at different different yes. times. Yes. yes. That's fair. Um, would you rather receive cash or gifts for your birthday? I again, I can, can I say both? <laughs> yeah. 
so no because usually okay uh, usually if it's a birthday we like to have rap gifts so also not so my wife always goes with rap gifts so she likes to give me like a 10 10 8 gifts like all wrapped and me put in a box so that is nice but yeah, then yeah. if there's someone who doesn't know my taste and all Uh, yeah. Then I would rather prefer cash so that I can like, get <laughs> something, or we can go out and eat, or we can spend it on anything else, or save it. <laughs> Because yeah, this is what the point. You can't go out, so yeah, save it. Yeah, that's right. because you know not everybody understands his taste and you can be so happy when you receive the gift, gifts but when you open it if you don't find that okay this is this is not what i was looking to forward to find yeah so that's going to feel bad so yeah sometimes you know you need both at different different points uh, yes, the next question is yes the next question is so would you rather explore space or the ocean Don't say both. <laughs> no, no, I would. I like to see space. I would love to see space because I think ocean is something. Okay, I know. Okay, it's there. I have seen it in my like through my own eyes. I have seen right, the beach or whatever. Yeah. So I know to the extent of that, it will definitely just be like that. It will be just water, and there will be the interesting corals too, sea life, and all that is beautiful. But space, I would love to see it because. I have not seen it at all, so might as well see space, not water, not the ocean. Yes, because that's such a mysterious, you know, uh, mysterious mm-hmm. thing that we all need to discover. So definitely, that would be space. That would be space for me too. So I would also choose that. Um, next up, would you rather hear the good news or the bad news first? I would like to get more positivity to my life, and I would go with the good news first. Because at least it will bring me some satisfaction first, and then I would hear the bad news. So first, be nice. happy and enthusiastic and rejoice over it, and then get the bad news. Because if I already heard the bad news first, what would happen is inside me I would anyway be sad, and I wouldn't be ready to yes. take up the good news. So I'll go with the bad news, uh, the good news first. Yes, definitely. So be optimistic and don't forget to celebrate whatever that is good before you move on to the negative parts out there. That's uh, an amazing takeaway for everyone who is out there as well. So moving on to the next question, uh, would you rather be a little late or way too early? I prefer with my job, way too early is the best because so that I can prepare and uh, you know taking up my life of uh, career. I think it's always good to be there early. Because if I go there late, the event might start, and I won't get a defect again. It's going to be a nightmare. So I might as well go early and stay there. It's okay. Yes. Go early, check the mic, uh, see whether the podium is okay. Do a voice check, mic check, all that, and I'm sorted. Okay, so I can get more comfortable. Yeah, so definitely for your occupation and you know profession, going early is like a must if you want to. You know when you have to um deliver uh. Whatever that you are going to deliver, so yes, so you will be a bit too early. And um, the next question is: Would you rather own your own boat or your own plane? I would own my own plane. I would, yeah, I would own my own plane. Yeah. Maybe a private jet or. A I love. I, I love. I love traveling. I love traveling because the best part is, if you have your own boat, you will be limited to only these waters. No? International yes. waters, okay, you might go. But if you get yeah. a plane, you can travel to that country, and then you can explore the ocean there. So no, I yes. can't take my boat, and it's going to be exactly. Cool. I'll have my own plane. That's a smart one. So, Joel, what's your favorite place to you know travel? Wow, we would love to. Me and wife, we have been always wanted to travel to different parts of the world. But with these restrictions, we can't travel. So, first thing, I think we'll look at an Asian country. We yeah, mm-hmm. would like to go to Dubai again. We were there, but it was an amazing. I think I loved the experience. So yeah. Yes, that's definitely an amazing place to travel. So it's really amazing. I heard. Yeah. I heard that they have. Uh, uh, sorry for interrupting. I heard that they have opened this uh, uh, the pool with the you know, highest depth, like the deep pool kind of thing, underwater, as in in Dubai. So. Wow, that's that's such a great news. I also want to check that out. And well, when the COVID is over, when the travel restric- restrictions are all lifted, I'm sure one of the first things that that you'll be doing in terms of getting a maybe vacation or when you want to take a break, I think you'll definitely start traveling because you're such a passionate oh, yeah. person for traveling. 
I want. Correct. Everyone wants to. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um. Next up, would you rather be logged in an amusement park or a library? Amusement park. That's an easy one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, okay. On um, for the record, I don't like reading. I don't enjoy reading much. So. Mm -hmm. so be in a park and then you will anyway fall asleep <laughs> after riding. I would also. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would also choose the amusement park for sure. <laughs> That's an easy one. Next up, would you rather continue with your life or restart it? I would continue with my life because I feel everything is good and everything is nice. So why restart? There is no regrets as such to restart. So I'll continue with my life and try to go Amazing. better. Amazing. Yes, so thank you so much, Joel. So that marks the end of the second game and we had so much of fun. So thank you so much for joining the second game as well. And that definitely, you know, enlivened the session. So now let's move on to another question. So the next question is regarding your YouTube channel. It has got nearly 4K subscribers. Am I right? Sort of, yes. It's almost there. Yes. Still, it's a new channel. It's a brand new channel. So All right. All right. So tell us more about your YouTube channel. What made you, you know, do what you do? And I'm just wondering, why do you think it's worth it to go online, uh, go into online videos with all the people, you know, already doing it? And what sets your channel and blog apart from the rest? Uh, I like the question, why I started. I think no one has asked me this question because I didn't appear on anything uh, recently. Uh, so my life actually took a shift recently i i uh, i quit from my give me a second i quit from my full time job uh, from a reputed media organization and from the corporate world actually i took a break right so what happened there was when i took a break i always wanted to a youtube channel to do my own show to host my own show was a passion which i always had in life but of course due to certain restrictions i was not able to so once i came out of this uh, corporate world i thought might as well you know i need to start somewhere because this is the period of time because what i believe is when you're young when you're dynamic and energetic it's the time that you can sustain in the social media world right so you need to capitalize on that when you can not that not that when you're old you can't but there seems to be more potential, more football when you're young and then, right? These looks will fade away in time to come. So I thought might as well, you know, I should do something which I love for myself. I know it might not be the best. It might not reward me or it might not, you know, I might not be successful in terms of financial background because of my channel or because of my passion. But at least end of the day, I can say that I have done this. I tried it and I failed or maybe I can speak about it. So I try. I started my YouTube channel. What the, what 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 I try to do here is it's all about entertainment, and then definitely in the future I have plans to do certain shows which would also inspire people. So let's see. So it's a gradual process, and I think uh, to everyone watching also, uh, there has been so much of support coming in from your team. Uh, if you can, you know, share with your friends and subscribe, that's that's perfectly fine. If you can do that, and that would be a great thing for me as well. So let's see. I'm really happy. I just want to say one thing that I'm really happy with the support, the encouragement and the feedback, especially I've got from uh, the loved ones who's watching my show and channel today. It, I feel blessed and I feel loved. The so hope this love and support continues as I go forward. So thank you very much for the question as well. No worries. And also to everyone who's joining in today, uh, I want to tell, I want to remind once again, do subscribe uh, our channel and also like and share. At the same time, do not forget to subscribe to Joel's channel as well and like and share both our content, which is uh, on our channels. Because I'm sure Joel has got so much of content, which is so very interesting. And so go and check it out. And uh, definitely you'll be able to learn lots of things when you go there um, and when you check out Joel's um, amazing YouTube channel as well. Thank so you. having said that, Anytime. So having said that, um, so now we are gradually coming towards the end of the interview as well. Before we wind up, I want to ask you, what is the one piece of practical advice you would give someone starting out their journey in moderating, anchoring or public speaking? Any special ways and mean, means to dive deeper into 
uh, the sea of you know this career i would go back to the same points which i started off the conversation with ashani uh, first of all stand out from the rest identify what is your strength identify your weakness and see whether this is actually what you love to do after that if your passion follows you if your passion follows you go with it and be unique uniqueness thousand percent be unique don't try to follow anyone don't try to be like anyone be yourself and uh, your journey will just be there and i'm telling you you might fail you might not get to be on tv you might not get to read news you might not be able to read, be a tv presenter but if you're passionate and i'm sure with the blessing from above if you feel like you need to person you speak to the people you know first try to market yourself do self marketing you need to market yourself and to everyone out here has a social media platform which is strong share content even if you feel it is not right share good content which would create an impact in society not not unnecessary stuff and practice practice and practice and speak yourself make sure that you sound good so that others will feel that you sound good just do what your heart says and if you have a passion to do it go for it don't stop it Yes, thank you so much for those amazing insights, Joel. Definitely, we have so much to learn from that. So much of insights to learn from that. Bringing your own uniqueness, be yourself, and do not let the failures stop you. Learn from the failures, and then do not give up, and you know, keep on trying. And definitely, the journey ahead will be created. So that's. so much of advice for you to take and i hope that all of us who will be who's joining in today um will be able to take those takeaways and definitely enlighten and you know improve your public speaking career whatever it could be moderating public speaking uh, and seeing whatever that it's going to be definitely i'm sure you have a lot to learn from the episode today so with that we have come to the end of yet another fun filled and thought provoking episode i would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude on behalf of the gavel club of universe university of colombo to you joel alskun for giving us the time out of your busy schedule and for bringing your vibrant and energetic vibe to this session we wish you all the success and joy in your journey so thank you so much for joining in today because this show i definitely i really enjoyed it and it, it was so much fun so thank you so much for joining in with us today uh well uh to start off with sashani i think you did a fabulous job you're fantastic keep up the good work and you have a long way to go ahead as well and uh, to all of you watching us thank you very much for watching this and I'm, i hope that at least if i was able to create a little bit of impact Uh, I feel great about it. Thank you very much, uh, and continue to be awesome. To be, to, uh, continue to be great in whatever you do. And uh, the amazing uh, background work is done by an amazing team. There is Budima Aloka, Arasit, and Banuka. Thank you very much to the backend team as well. It is on the basis of them that it's possible. Thank you to the University of uh, Colombo Travel Club for having me, and I really enjoyed the session. And uh, good luck in everything you all do. Take up the world and take up the take up each challenge with a positive mind and uh, live your life to the fullest. All the best to all of you. Thank you so much, Joel, and definitely that means a lot to me. So thank you so much, and uh, we all are so so very grateful to you for coming on board today and also for the amazing advice that. you gave to everyone so thanks a lot so guys yes so guys this is tishani valigamge signing off with the entire journey hotline crew i hope to see you all soon along with another inspiring personality stay tuned to find out who until then keep enjoying the roller coaster ride that's called life thank you stay safe and good day to you all